Hello, this is the Amarisoft 5G base station that we have in our lab. As you can see here, it's the Amarisoft Cold Box Classic, as they call it. It's a standard PC that has three PCI Express SDR cards, and uh, each of them has four antennas. As you can see here, each PCI Express card is connected to the antennas via SMA plugs and the extra fifth SMA is for GPS input for clock stability. Now we will open the case to see what's inside. I'm going to remove the antennas. We use the, the computer as a um, stand for the magnetic antennas. So, let's take a look inside. Here are the three PCI Express cards. Uh, each of them is directly connected with the other. They use it for synchronizing them in order to aggregate the bandwidth. So the, the total uh, bandwidth that this base station can utilize is the aggregated of those. Each card can handle about 50 megahertz of bandwidth. And of, uh, of the rest it's a normal computer. We also have here the RUEs. It's the Huawei CP Pro. As you can see, model number Hotel 112370. This CP has uh, Wi-Fi and two Ethernet interfaces. And the other uh, UE we have is a mobile phone, the Samsung A90 5G. It's not a European version, but it works and that's the console of the base station that uh, will describe the functionality in another video I SSH into the Amarisoft machine and enter your credentials we can see that all required software is running The EMB software is inside the folder EMB on the root directory. Next, we open the configuration file for the EMB. The most important configuration parameters for the EMB are the following. The interface in which the MME can be found. The interface from which the EMB will try to talk to the MME the element that will be used and the frequencies that the ENB would use in its cells. Moving to the MME folder, the most important parameters for the MME configuration are the interface in which the MME will respond to the in node B or G node B, the PLMN to be used, there are some parameters regarding the APNs that will be used, and one very important configuration parameter is the database for the user the, which the MME will recognize. The configuration details for the UEs to be used are inserted in this file.
the final three entries in, in here have been added by us to represent custom SIM cards that are being used in our tests. We restart the LTE service and then enter the scan which helps us manage the program's running. Here we see the screen for the inode B. We can see the available commands and we can also test that by issuing the S1 command we can find out that the S1 interface is being connected to the MME. The MME screen also shows the available commands. By issuing the ENB command we can find out Hello, uh, here we're gonna check out the Huawei CPE and uh, some uh, basic uh, configuration regarding our 5G network. Uh, we have connected the CPE directly to a computer via the Ethernet interface. The computer is not in any other way connected to the Internet and we have just started the base station as you can see the CPE has been connected uh, you can see here two networks both 4G and 5G because our base station runs in non-standalone mode and 4G network is used for control data and 5G network is used for actual data um, as you can see here and uh, the first thing of course that we're gonna do is run a speed test to check our connectivity of course this speed test will be run over the internet so the speed is indicative uh, we don't expect to see the maximum throughput Although, as you can see, we get more than uh, 215 megabits of downlink. And uh, in uplink, we get more than 20, 25, maybe up 30. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, but again, this is not these measurements are going are not going to be used for uh, real testing it's just indicative um, now we're gonna see some uh, settings here the only thing we had to to adjust is the APN we have set internet as our APN we have configured the same into the base station and um, then the CPE just connects. Now here in, in another screen uh, we're gonna see some uh, basic settings uh, like uh, Huawei serial number, IMA, IMSI, of course this is our SIM card and the hardware and software version of the CPE the, the IP address that uh, it has been assigned cell ID and some other measurements like the signal strength the SNR, the transmit power and such of course the PLMN ID is a test PLMN that we have set up and those are some specific 5G measurements and um, that's it for the moment we can have access from the CP via a wireless network also but now we have configured the wired network.
Hello. Uh, here we can see a demo of the Amaris of 5G base station and uh, Samsung uh, A9, Galaxy A90 5G phone. Now uh, we have just uh, booted the base station and uh, it switched off. We will uh, issue a command to start the service and now we're going to log in into the screen session to check the status of the services. For the moment the, the mobile phone tries, tries to find the network as you can see here there is no network connected now it just connects to a 5G network you can see the sign here the 5G one uh, we can check to the phone uh, menu no <laughs> to see the IP address that the we have issued to the to the mobile phone before that we're gonna make a speed test to the internet to check connectivity now we're very near the antennas so the throughput should be high enough of course it's dependent on the remote server location since we are testing uh, via the mobile app and it can vary on the internet traffic but the results are indicative as you can see we have about 160 megabits downlink and uh, 12 megabits uplink and we are connected to our own 5G network so um, here in the console we can issue a command to list the UEs connected. As you can see, we have two UEs connected. Of course, you see four uh, because we are in NSA mode and uh, we can see the cells that are in 4G. We have one cell in 4G and one cell in new radio. And uh, here again on the on the phone screen, we can see that the IP address that we have allocated it's one a private address in our own subnet. And uh, of course, the network is the Amaris of network. That's it.